going on everybody it's jet central coming back with another new york jets coaching update but before we get into the update i owe you guys an apology you know i was stuck at work all night and i'm pissed off about it because this news was absolutely huge absolutely huge and i could not get a video up you know i remember reading the news at work and i was just losing my mind i was freaking out like oh my god what is this this is absolutely insane and it was just completely nauseating just sitting at work watching the clock go by you know watching the seconds just go you know just tick by waiting to leave that place so i could get back here make a video dish out my thoughts and see what you guys have to say because i cannot wait i cannot wait to see what you got you know your guys reaction down below in the comment section is gonna be some of you guys will love it some of you guys are gonna hate it but we're gonna dive into it but um like i said before i apologize it should be no excuse at all um no excuse it's absolutely unbelievable and i, I completely dropped the ball so i do apologize for that um so yeah the new york jets they're set to interview former Texas Tech Red Raider head coach Cliff Kingsbury and I know the first reaction by a lot of people out there is going to be Cliff Kingsbury you know the guy that was average at best at Texas Tech who just got fired like two months ago how does that make any sense how does that make any logical sense at all that a guy who was at you know he wasn't competing for national championships he wasn't winning big 12 championships he wasn't getting 10 to 11 season uh 10 to 11 wins per season he wasn't doing any of that stuff how does this guy go from being an average coach to getting fire to now getting a possible a huge promotion running one of the biggest markets uh you know biggest uh, football franchises in the national football league makes no sense at all well i i think there's a few driving main factors um that really uh, you know are spearheading this this kingsbury to the jets con uh, connection number one he is a young offensive innovative mind that is something that the New York Jets have been looking for this whole offseason. You know, you take a look at Eric Mangini, defense. Rex Ryan, defense. Todd Bowles, defense. The New York Jets now want to go in a different direction. They want to go offense. They, we just picked up Sam Darnold last offseason, and he flashed this rookie season. He threw a lot of picks. He definitely struggled in some points, you know, here and there. But you know what? He's a 21-year-old rookie quarterback with... Not a lot of depth at wide receiver with absolutely no offensive line, no offensive coaching, and a spotty running game. So when you take a look at all those factors, we have something in Sam Darnold. We really do. So it's be very beneficial for a young quarterback to pair him up with a young offensive coach. Look at Jared Goff in LA. Look at Doug Peterson in Philly. Look at uh, Matt Nagy and Mitchell Trubisky. Okay, all three of those quarterbacks... All right, and you can even make the argument Patrick Mahomes in uh, in Kansas City with Andy Reid, but Andy Reid's been around the block, you know, for for quite some time now. But the point is, even Jimmy uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, Kyle Shanahan, um, you know, the the point is, you know, I, I digress. The point is, is that. The, the current trend right now in the, in the National Football League is to pair up young rookie quarterbacks that have extremely uh, high amounts of talent, huge upsides, with coaches that think outside of the box, that, that play aggressive, that have a, uh, a knack for coaching offensive football, specifically the quarterback position. Cliff Kingsbury, although he didn't win a whole bunch of games at Texas Tech, although he wasn't competing for national championships and, and he wasn't dominating recruiting uh, and he got fired by the uh, by the um, – Fran or not the franchise, but the university. Although all those things went on under his, um, you know, uh, under his uh, coaching uh, guidance at Texas Tech, under under his coaching tenure, I should say. He's the one thing that that remained, the one constant was Cliff Kingsbury's offense. His offensive numbers were off the charts. Granted, it's in the Big Twelve; they have really no good defenses in that conference at all, outside of maybe West Virginia and TCU. But even you know, when you look at those defense uh, on a national scale, they're they're not they're nowhere close to being a top ten, top fifteen, top twenty defense. Nowhere close. So, granted, they weren't really you know every game is a shootout here. That's just how the style is in the Big Twelve. But when you look at the play design. When you look at the passing concepts, a lot of the running concepts were actually, you know, pretty simple stuff. But you know, everyone thinks uh, the aerial raid system is a pass, uh, you know, is a is is a system that's built off the pass. It's actually, um, uh, and along with Chip Kelly's um, offense, spread offense as well, it's built off the run game. It's just the short passing is just an extension of the run game. So, quick little you know tidbit right there. But you know, Cliff Kingsbury, the one constant that remained was his offense. Patrick Mahomes went to Texas Tech. 
he put up a lot of great numbers. You take a look at the, you know, the amount of quarterbacks that were at Texas Tech with Kingsbury. Baker Mayfield did well. Davis Webb did well. All three of those guys are actually in the National Football League as we speak. You know, this past season, uh, you know, Alan Bowman, he was, he was okay, but he's a freshman. He's a freshman quarterback. And then, of course, Jet Duffy as well, a guy I, you know, I pull for. I, I really like him. Loved him when he was in high school. He's a kind of a dual-threat guy. But the point is, is that Cliff Kingsbury's offense was always high-flying, would always put up points, would always, ch- you know, get a ton of passing yards, a ton of rushing yards. The offense was on fire at all times. Uh, and that is the lure with Cliff Kingsbury. He knows offensive football. And I, I feel like the other driving point, Oh, that's really connecting these two parties, Kingsbury and the Jets, or really Kingsbury to a lot of NFL uh, job openings, is that he's really dedicated to the game of football. I mean, I actually like to think that if I was in the same position as Kingsbury, I'd be the same exact way, where I don't even do anything else except for watch film and study different positions, study opposing defenses, study opposing offenses. I mean, you take a look at Cliff Kingsbury's um, personal life, and it's just, you know, he's just in, enthralled and engulfed in the sport of football, especially especially on the offensive side of the offensive side of the ball. So he knows the position, the quarterback position because he's coached so many great ones. Is it a coincidence that every quarterback that this guy has at Texas Tech, they always throw for a lot of touchdowns and a lot of yards and they always have a lot of success. You know, maybe early on you could say, "Yeah, it's a coincidence," but what you know, what are the, what's the constant? The constant is that every time Texas Tech had a quarterback, they put up great numbers and that's pretty intriguing. Um, like I said before, their de- the defenses that that you know uh, Kingsbury was going up against in the Big Twelve, it, you know it's it's basically child's play at this point. But he's dedicated to the game. He's always studying. He's always trying to get better. He's had success in the past. He's young. He's kind of you know I don't want to sit here and say he's like a hip guy or anything like that. But you know he's like active on social media. He has a huge say in, in what like the uniforms look like. He's really in touch and in tune uh, with the uh, with with millennials. And I feel like he can get millennials to buy into what he's selling. You know, one of the biggest uh, things with Cliff Kingsbury is that, is that they say he's like a Ryan Gosling lookalike. So he's really popular on social media. All the girls like him and stuff like that. So he's definitely. And by the way, when I was at work, I was reading some of the, you know, Jet Twitter. I was just dying. I was just rolling. You know, some of you guys just had me rolling. It was so funny just seeing like some of you guys' tweets regarding like Cl- uh, Cliff Kingsbury in New York City with the amount of attention that he would get. Uh, so funny stuff on that end, but Cliff Kingsbury to the Jets, I would like it, but the the one concern I would have, um, and quick little fun fact as well, Cliff Kingsbury actually played for the Jets, um, not as like a starting quarterback or anything like that, but he was a quarterback, um, I think he was either a late round pick or he was undrafted, I believe he was undrafted, um, played at Texas Tech, goes to the New York Jets, he bounced around the league a little bit, uh, never really found a spot, and then he uh, transitioned to coaching, but... Uh, but, you know, bottom line is that Cliff Kingsbury is an offensive minded, explosive guy, innovative guy. I love I love his personality. I think he would. And, and by the way, Jamal Adams already like shouted him out and endorsed him and followed him on Instagram. Cliff Kingsbury already hit him back, you know, f- gave him a follow. Marcus May was in on the mix, too. He goes out and follows uh, Gary V, who's a diehard New York Jet fan, a uh, big YouTuber as well. So, um there's starting to be some, you know, there's starting uh, some connections right there, and uh, the New York Jets are really trying to land an interview with this guy, along with the Arizona Cardinals. So, um, you know, before I end the video, I just wanted, I just want to talk about one concern. I think if the New York Jets were to go out and hire Cliff Kingsbury as head coach, I think it would be really. Not, I, I think, I mean, of course, it's really dangerous, right? It's really high risk, high, re- uh, high risk, high reward, uh, boom or bust, you know, high ceiling, low floor. This guy could either be an absolute, you know, abomination to the, you know, because he, he's never been an NFL head coach before. We don't know how his defense is going to look. I just feel as though if Cliff, if, uh, Cliff Kingsbury goes to the NFL, specifically the New York Jets, he needs to lock up a smart defensive coordinator that knows what he's doing. Um, Like the LA Rams, Sean McVay, he brought in Wade Phillips and said, Wade, handle the defensive side of the football. You run your system. You can pick the players. You do everything. I'm going to man the offensive side. You man the defensive side. It's almost like a co-head coaching unit, uh, if you will. Just, you know, uh, obviously the title is Sean McVay, but you guys know what I'm saying. Wade Phillips completely handles is completely hands on with that defense, and Sean McVay has very little say on defense. Uh, so I would think the New York Jets would have to be in somewhat of the same uh, situation, same scenario, 
that the LA Rams are in. Get this guy in the building so we can help out Sam Darnold and really pick up this offense, supercharge it, you know, jumpstart it back to life. It's been asleep forever. Probably asleep, you know, since I've whatever, having even, you know, wasn't even born yet. Uh, and then get a veteran defensive coordinator in the building that understands defenses uh, like a Wade Phillips. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section about this news. The New York Jets potentially trying to land a interview with uh, former Texas Tech Red Raider uh, coach Cliff Kingsbury. So I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. And again, I apologize for the late upload. Really pissed me off. But um, thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.